Hey guys, welcome back to the second September market update. Uh, forgive the attire, I did just come in off my paddleboard. The weather is too beautiful to stay inside all day, but I did want to get this out for you as promised. So let us dive right in. So where are we coming from? So mortgage rates are still hovering around and a little bit under 3%. Um, interesting point coming up on where I think those are going. Inventory. So inventory, when we hit September, into late August, we finally cracked that 300 properties available, and we've bounced up and down between about 300 and 310, and we're still there at about 302. So I expected there to be a continual increase, not a massive one, but an increase nonetheless. Uh, that does not appear to have happened. It seems that inventory growth has plateaued, and historically, September is the big month where we do see inventory jump up, not so much October and November. So we'll go into again where we think that is going to go going forward a little bit later. Days on market for single family are still trending down, um, inching down, but it's consistent, not only in the average, but on the month to month basis as well. And in terms of condos, they actually took a big jump up this month. It's going to look a little less exaggerated on the chart because it is an average of 12 months, but we did jump up about 30 days from last month to this month on a month by month basis. So I don't think that that's anything to read too much into and I will explain why in a second. So this one's interesting, pending sales. So if you recall from the last few videos, I touched on this to point out the fact that we're returning to pre-COVID activity levels and that that was likely to bring some things into balance in terms of prices. So the arrows are the last three years, you know, current month, last year, year before, and let's throw 2020 out the window again, it's just insane. But September's sitting low right now, there is, you know, a little over a week left. We'll see how much higher that comes up, but, you know, within a reasonable margin of error, it seems that that is likely to be flat, if not come down a little bit in terms of pending sales. So that would mean that market activity has sloped we can't predict where that's going to end though. So closed sales, we can predict where that is going to end. And it looks to be just flat with where we were in September of 2019. That little blue nub on top of uh, September's bar are the current transactions out there that are set to close over the rest of the month. So we are unlikely to see any more besides that. So we can say with confidence that we are going to be about where we were pre-COVID. So prices. Again, single family, we've talked about this. They've been plateauing over the last three to four months, and we took another jump up, a little jump up, but still, again, we're not seeing the egregious increases that we were seeing on a month-to-month -month basis in the spring, winter, and before that. And in stark contrast, we'll get to in a minute what happened with condos. Days on market here, again, it's a consistent slow curve coming down. So single family homes are still going very quickly um, when they are priced appropriately. And we're not talking 10 days on market, we're still sitting out there for a little bit. So that reflects again that we do have some balance or some semblance of balance in the single family market. In condos, polar opposite, right? Still going through the moon here. Um, and we had a $90,000 increase month over month just on the activity that closed. And it wasn't a small sample size, it was actually bigger than normal. So it's safe to say that condos and townhomes are still going up in price days on market. Here's that blip I talked about over here, September. We jumped up a little bit instead of continuing to fall off the cliff. We shall see what happens next month. Now, where are we going? Mortgage rates. So I don't think that mortgage rates are going to go up, as I had mentioned in the past, because inflation, expected inflation, was actually higher than it was supposed to be. So inflation came in lower than that expectation, which means most likely the Fed is going to kick the can on tapering um, and changing their monetary policy until, until their next meeting when they see how the economy does. So I think rates are going to stay under three and they might even trickle down just a few points more over the next month or so. Inventory, homes are still hitting the market, but they're still going under contract pretty quickly. Um, and I expect that to stay around 300 over the next month or so before starting to trickle down through the fall. And for prices, single family homes, again, we have balance. Condos, I expect them still to rise. And days on market, um, there's still a lot of demand out there. I think they will start to rise, though, as fall hits. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, here is my contact information. Do not hesitate to reach out, and I will talk to you soon.